Hey guys, Mix Stuff. If you've seen one of these Walsh Centralin auto foaming hand soap products in the supermarket and you have wanted to buy it but hesitated at the price of refills and you have wondered how good exactly is this product, well, you're not alone. I've personally tried this out and I'm a fan of this product. It's lasted me a long time, it's durable, it's uh, aesthetic and it looks good in the bathroom. It has three settings for the amount of soap to be dispensed, but just one problem that the cost of refills is pretty much cost prohibitive and prices out the average consumer from the market. Today, I'm going to show you a hack that will allow you to use this product at a much more cost effective price point. So stay tuned. So here we are at the Lazada website and let's check out the price of refills. First, let's check out the price for the bottled versions for the auto dispenser. And here we have $16.80 for two bottles and each bottle has 350 ml of refreshing scent soap solution that's for the foaming hand soap. If you take $16.80 and you divide it by 7 that will give you the price of uh, the soap for every 100 ml so that works out to be $2.40, $2.40 for 100 ml. Pretty cost prohibitive in my opinion. Uh, and prices out the average consumer, don't you think? Especially when there are other options out there that are cheaper from other brands. And here, let's check out another option from Walsh Centralin themselves. And this is for the manual hand pump version, not the auto version where it's bottled. Here you get uh, for 300 mils, $1.90. $1.90 for 300 mils. The exact same stuff refreshing scent, blue colored liquid. Uh, if you were to take $1.90 divided by 3, that will give you the price of uh, $0.63 cents for every 100 ml. Mm, much cheaper, don't you think, uh, for the exact same stuff after all. Here's a quick recap. $2.40 for 100 ml for the auto bottled version and $0.63 cents for every 100 ml for the manual hand pump version packaged in soft packaging. But how on earth exactly do you use the manual hand pump version, you might ask. So don't worry, let me show you how. Hey guys, Mick Stuff. Today I'm going to show you the Walsh Foaming Hand Soap Refill Modification Kit, the Gaha Blanca version. Gaha Blanca meaning white box. This container is made of 100% polystyrene, both the lid and the container itself, which comes with certain advantages and disadvantages, which I'll go through after the installation. The things you'll need are first, a flat tip screwdriver, an expanded Walsh foaming hand soap, an extension tube, the container itself, obviously, and a rubber band. So the first thing you'll have to do is to pop the dispenser off the bottle and using a flat tip screwdriver, pry this plastic white cap off the bottle avoiding the notches here and here because these are the points of weaknesses and you don't want the plastic to snap so just go all around the circumference of the cap right, so it comes right off and next Add the extension tube to the end of the original tubing so that it's now longer and it can reach the base of the new container. You then have to pass this white cap through container gently because polystyrene is a 
rather brittle material, which is one of the disadvantages. Once you're done, just check to make sure that the plastic cap sits flush with the plane of the container lid and there are no gaps here. So with that done, you'll see that this dispenser will rest very nicely on top of the container without wobbling All right. no wobbling sideways left and right no wobbling front and back it still allows you to rotate the plastic cap so the last thing you'll need to do is because this container doesn't come with an o-ring unlike all the other models that I've made. If you were to move the container rather vigorously, the liquid will be sloshing inside the container and you wouldn't want the liquid to leak, to leak out through the rim as it slops over the rim. So to minimize that from happening, you can add the rubber band which will act as, act as an O-ring, not perfect but somewhat works and reduces the chances of leakage if ever you were to shake this violently or to move around with this which in the first place you shouldn't, even with the original wash uh, foaming hand soap. So now we're done, and I'll just take you through some of the advantages of uh, polystyrene. First of all, as I've mentioned, it's uh, a rather hard and rigid material, unlike polypropylene, from which I have made other models of my refill modification kits. It's made from Tupperware and it's the standard material of Tupperware. For that kind of plastic, it's a bit more flexible so it can wobble a little bit. Here with polystyrene, it doesn't happen. It's very nice, rigid, solid dispenser. Secondly, it's not as fragile as glass which I've used to make some other models of my dispenser um, of my refill modification kit so it's easier to transport less packaging material less need to cushion the container for fear of it breaking and so it's easier to move around to transport it around and cheaper friendlier for the, environment, for the environment as well in terms of transportation and uh, well it may not look as sleek as glass but uh, if you were to remove this plastic wrapper it reveals a blank slate from which you can personalize, decorate and do whatever you want it's also semi-transparent, uh, translucent so if you were to fill it up with the coloured liquid you can actually see the, the liquid level quite clearly so there you have it the Gaha Blanca version I hope you have enjoyed uh, my video thank you for watching